Hi everyone, welcome back to Center. It's day 11, rinse. Let's get started. All right, pals, let's begin lying down today. Yay, yay. Come on down to your back. When you get there, take a deep breath in and a long breath out. You can just allow your hands to rest gently wherever feels good. Maybe walk your shoulder blades down the back a little bit. Maybe scratch your head like Benji. And point and flex the feet. This is a, a class that really invites you to let go of the day thus far. And politely put your to-do list on pause. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, draw the navel down, hug the right knee into the chest, squeeze. Right knee up towards your heart. And flex the left toes. Feel your body supported by the weight of the earth. Relax your shoulders. And then guide your right knee open to the right and then squeeze your right knee up towards your right shoulder. You might capture your right shin with your right hand and you could even bring your left hand to the top of the left thigh or to the earth. Breathe. Option here to grab the outer edge of the right foot or the inner arch of the right foot and kick it into a little half stirrup posture or half happy baby, opening up through the hip. And just noticing as you begin to add on with these shapes, paying attention to the sensation and noticing whether or not you are holding or gripping any tension in the body, softening here as we make the breath more conscious. And then release that. We'll come back to hugging the knee into the chest. Then you're gonna just bump the hips over towards the right side of your mat so you can take that right knee across the body over to the left for a reclined twist. Extend the right arm out long and try to get your right shoulder down to the ground with each exhale, breathing deep, maybe turning your head to the right. And maybe using the soft touch of your left palm to guide the outer edge of your right thigh a little deeper into this twist. Breathe deep. Hmm. Then use an exhale, whenever your next exhale is, to melt it back. So slowly bring it back to center. Reset the hips in the middle of your mat and extend the right leg out long. We'll hug the left knee into the chest. First, just towards the heart center, squeeze. Activate through the feet. And then guiding the left knee towards the left shoulder, opening it up a bit. Right hand can come to the top of the right thigh or to your mat. Relax your shoulders, breathe. And then taking the hand to the outer edge of the left foot or the inner arch, happy baby kicking the sole of that foot up, half happy baby or half stirrup posture. Kick that left heel up towards the sky. Keep the right thigh bone heavy. Lovely, release that, bump the hips over to the left and then guide the, the left knee over towards the right side of your mat, finding your twist on the other side. Extend through the left arm, use your exhale to get that left shoulder down. 
and maybe use the soft touch of your right palm to guide the outer edge of your left thigh a little deeper into your twist. You can close your eyes here if that feels good. Breathe deep, nice, full, conscious breaths. And then melt it back to center. Bring the hips back to the middle of your mat. Bend the knees, walk the heels up towards your bum. Toes pointing forward, palms face down. Inhale, lift the tailbone slowly up towards the sky. Navel draws in as we slowly roll up through the spine into a nice bridge pose. Lifting the hips up high, shins forward. Chin lifts. Good, then slowly softening through the sternum and releasing it all the way back down. Hug both knees into the chest, bring your hands behind the backs of the thighs, and we're gonna start to rock and roll up and down the length of the spine, giving your back a nice massage here, keeping the shoulders relaxed, skin of the face relaxed. Coming all the way up and now through to a cross-legged seat. Take a gentle twist to the left. Breathe in, sit up nice and tall. Exhale, look past your left shoulder, excuse me. Good, come back through center, breathe in. And gentle twist to the right. Sit up nice and tall. As you inhale and exhale, look past your right shoulder. Lovely. All right, from here, you're gonna stay seated. You're gonna bring your left heel in, right foot to follow, and the fingertips are gonna just slowly crawl forward, maybe pressing palms firmly into the mat, maybe bringing elbows, maybe reaching arms out in front. Draw the navel in. Think about bringing the sits bones to root firmly as you breathe deeply. Sending awareness, of course, into that right hip as you breathe in. And breathe out. Good release. We're just going to switch. Right heel in, left foot to follow. Same thing, fingertips walk out. Nice and slow. Find what feels good here. Try to keep those sits bones really reaching down as you breathe in. Lots of awareness opening through the left hip. And breathe out. Now press into the palms, draw your navel into your spine, and you're going to roll forward from here, coming to all fours. So you'll back the truck up a little bit, center yourself in the middle of the mat. Good. Bump the hips to the left, turn to look past your right shoulder, side body stretch, and then take it through center and to the other side. Back to center, walk the hands forward, curl the toes under, inhale in deeply, exhale, lift the hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Inhale in through the nose. Long breath out through the nose or the mouth. Good, inhale, step the right leg up into your lunge, lower the back knee down. Then squeeze the inner thighs to the midline, press into the top of your back foot, so uncurl those toes. Find center as you bring the palms together and we rise up, nice low lunge here. Pull the right hip crease back, lift up from the pelvic floor. Beautiful. The root of this posture is in this back foot, okay? So press into that back foot, engage that left glute. Lovely, then draw the navel in and up, inhale, exhale, outer edge of the left arm is gonna come to the outer edge of the right knee. If you need to bring that front foot in just a little bit more for more stability, do so. Then we find a twist here. Left hand's gonna come into a fist, right hand's gonna come on top of that fist to create a little fulcrum here so you can find length in the spine. Remember the neck is an extension of the spine here. Pull the right hip crease back a bit, hug those low ribs in, 
Yes, inhale in. Spiral your heart towards the sky as you exhale. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head. Palms come back to prayer. And exhale, we release. Go ahead and bring it all the way back down. Straighten that front leg, just a little counter stretch here as you flex the right toes towards the face. Breathe in. Breathe out to roll through that right foot. Plant the palms, curl the back toes under, listen carefully, lift the back knee, and then step the right foot back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good, inhale, step the left foot all the way up. Exhale, lower the right knee down. Uncurl the toes, press into that back foot as you squeeze the inner thighs to the midline, palms come together and we lift up. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Sternum lifts to the thumbs here. Here we go. Inhale, outer edge of the right arm now comes to the outer edge of that left knee. Remember to hug that left knee in. And we come into our twist here on the other side. Right hand comes into a fist, left hand on top, and we press to find length here, finding that twist in the mid back, the thoracic spine, remembering not to collapse in the neck here lengthening through the crown of the head. Breathe in. As you breathe out, see if you can imagine your heart spiraling up towards the sky. Breathe in. Palms come together in prayer. Breathe out. Breathe in to lengthen through the crown. And exhale all the way back to center. Shift the hips back. Straighten through that front leg. Left toes flex towards the face. And then rolling through that left foot, plant the palms, curl the right toes under, lift the back knee, and step the left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale in deeply. Exhale. Inhale to look forward. Exhale to make your way to the top. Find something new. Forward fold. Take a deep breath in here. On your exhale, bend your knees and slowly roll it up. Lift your heart, relax your shoulders as you stand up nice and tall. Without looking down, walk the feet together. Squeeze the legs together, zip them up tight. Draw the navel in slightly. Lift your chest again and relax your shoulders again. Beautiful, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, forward fold, nice and slow. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend both knees, right fingertips come to the earth, or if you have a block, you can bring a block or a book in front of you so your hand can go there. Both knees are bent, we're gonna straighten the left leg, reach the left fingertips up towards the sky. Spiraling the heart up towards the heavens. Inhale in, lean back. Exhale, bend both knees, left hand replaces the right. We take it to the other side, straightening the right leg, drawing that bow and arrow up with the right arm. Try to draw your right shoulder back here, draw your navel in. Maybe look up, careful not to grip through the toes. Inhale, exhale, soften and release it down, forward fold. Beautiful. Plant the palms, step or hop it back to plank. Inhale in deeply here, exhale lower to the belly. Inhale, cobra, rise up. Exhale, soften and fold. Inhale, press to all fours or plank pose, your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale in deeply here. Exhale completely. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Same thing, right knee to left elbow. <sighs> Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, draw the navel in as you twist here, right knee to left elbow. <sighs> and then bring it all the way back up, three-legged dog. Now we're gonna bend the right knee and stack the hips. Turn to look underneath your right shoulder. Lovely, release the right foot down. If you need to take a little break, come onto the knees for a second, otherwise, Second side, here we go, all together. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. <sighs> Draw the navel in. Inhale, lift it up. 
Strong exhale, contract the abs. Inhale, reach it up, last one. Exhale, contract. Inhale, reach it up. Then stack the hips, open up through that left side. Turn to look underneath your left shoulder. Lovely, inhale, straighten that leg, bring it all the way back down. Bend the knees, lower them slowly to the earth. Take a second here, child's pose, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale to come all the way up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend the knees. We're gonna walk to the center of the mat, just the center of the mat, and then draw your hands in towards your toes. So now you're in forward fold in the middle of your mat. Inhale in. Long breath out. Bend the knees, inhale in, exhale, slowly roll it up. Take your time, come up to mountain pose. Hands on the hips, heart lifted. Cool, you're gonna shift your weight now to your right foot. Slowly as if there was a string on your left knee, lift that left knee all the way up towards the sky. Great, now you can grab that left knee here, squeeze it in, we're in a standing one-legged Tadasana. Now take a second to release your hands, just see what happens, and then capture. And one more time, release, and capture. Pro tip, recruit your center. Great, then we can stay here working on this balance, or we're gonna take the right hand to the outer edge of this left knee, and we're gonna press these two together to gain more power through the glutes and more stability. Then left hand can stay on the waistline here, or we're gonna take it all the way back behind us, opening up through the chest, taking our gaze perhaps to look towards the left fingertips. Great, then slow and with control, best you can, come all the way back to center, palms kiss together at the heart, take a deep breath in, reset. Exhale, hands to the waistline, and we slowly shift the weight to the left foot, lift the right knee up high. Interlace the fingertips, squeeze the right knee up towards the chest, release the hands, and then squeeze, release the hands, and squeeze. And when we release the hands, we're not holding on like for a wing, with a wing and a prayer, we're, we're recruiting, right? Creating a whole body experience. We can stay here playing in this standing one-legged Tadasana, or we can experiment with taking the left hand to the outer edge of the right knee. Use this to press against and find a little more lengthening through that left hip. And then maybe taking the right fingertips back, looking towards your hand. Recruit the low abs, lengthen through the neck. You got this, breathe. And then slowly and with control, release. Palms come together, feet come together. We take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Catch a wave here, inhale, reach for the sky, big breath, big stretch, exhale, forward fold, rinse it out. Shake the head, yes, shake the head, no. Walk the hands forward, walk the feet back, plank pose, deep breath in, long breath out. Inhale in, exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Forehead kisses the mat here. Take a deep breath in and then check it out. As you exhale, you're just gonna come here for a second onto your elbows. A little chill, somber party pose moment. And then you're gonna walk your elbows over towards the left, walk your hips over towards the left with it. This is like an excruciatingly complicated transition, so I hope you can handle it, but we're just gonna flip onto our backs from here. <laughs> yes, and then center yourself, literally <laughs> and figuratively. When you get situated, hug the knees up into the chest. First knees together, lower back flush with the mat. You can take small circles here, massaging the low back if that feels good. One way and then the other. 
And after a couple breaths, go ahead and open the knees wide. Let the shoulders relax. And you don't have to press, just allow the weight of your hands, your palms, and your arm just kind of naturally open through the inner thigh here. You can rotate the ankles if that feels good one way and then the other. Relax the neck, the traps, the shoulders. Soften through the sternum. You can stay here. You can take a happy baby, full happy baby, or maybe a straddle, sending the legs out left to right. Find what feels good here as you breathe. And then we'll slowly bring the feet back down to the mat, extend one leg and then the other. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up, full body stretch. Big, big, big breath here as you stretch, stretch, stretch. And then exhale, release the arms down. Allow them to rest gently at your side, palm face up. Relax your feet, the ankles, the shins. Relax the kneecaps, the thighs, the hips and the pelvis. Relax the belly and the rib cage, the sternum, the collarbones. Soften the belly, soften your heart. Relax the hands, the fingers, the wrists. Relax the arms, the elbows, the shoulders. Soften the jaws, you relax your neck. Let your eyelids be heavy as you soften the skin of the face. Relax your head. Way to show up. You guys are doing great. The hardest part will be getting here, but I promise you, if you do, we'll continue to make a good habit of this. Centering the whole body, the whole spirit, for our mental health. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. bring the hands together. Slowly lift the thumbs to the third eye. Let's end with an I love you in. And an exhale, breathe out. All right, see you tomorrow. Ciao.